Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys a massive makeup haul. Let me just take these clips out. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I had curled it and then it's like not... If you guys are new to my channel you'll know my hair doesn't hold a curl so if I'm playing with my hair a lot of, um, that is why I think that's alright. No, too much, too much. Too tight more like. Yeah, don't know. Um, we're not here for my hair anyway. I think I must probably say that in every video because... Oh, I feel like, I don't know. Like, my makeup's either okay and then my hair's a mess or hair's a okay and my makeup's a mess or what I'm wearing is a state or whatever but yeah I might put these little clips back and I'm not 100% sure. I feel like this side's sitting awfully weird and I really don't know why. Uh, I feel like it's quite puffed up. I don't know. Um, also don't mind me with my can of Pepsi Max. Let's open it. There we go. Right, video started. So, I finished college and thought I would treat myself. So, <laughs> I always want to do like a big makeup haul, but you guys know how expensive makeup can be. So, I tend to just buy it bit by bit. So, like, I'll buy a new foundation, then a couple of weeks later, I'll buy a lip gloss, whatever. Um, I've never actually sat down now. All of these things I probably wouldn't buy individually because of the price. But your gal was okay to pay it all together. Don't know why. Never mind. But I shopped from two shops because me wanting to save some coin found one of the products cheaper on Look Fantastic. Basically, it's Cult Beauty that I bought most of the stuff from. And then when I was on Look Fantastic, I remembered I wanted something else. So yeah, two shops, but most of it is Cult Beauty. Some of it Look Fantastic, but I'll let you guys know. Um, also, all the products that I bought will be down in the description box down below. I always forget how gassy um, for the juice is that I can. So, my box. I mean, they could have been like Amazon and put it in a bigger box so I could have made it out like the value was actually worth the product inside, like the box size was worth the product inside, but oh well. So we'll jump into Cult Beauty. So I got my samples. Now I personally think for the amount of money I had spent, I should have got more than this. Um, but me being me didn't order my stuff at the time Cult Beauty done the goodie bag. So, oh well, that's what I got. I got Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Nice. And Kate Somerville Hel Skin Health Experts Goat Milk Moisturising Cleanser. Got those, so those will be interesting to try. And we have a box full of Stuff. I'm so, going to jump into this video so if you guys do enjoy don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get on to today's video. So please ignore also my stubby hands and ghost pale hands. Um, also have a little bit of the Pale Louise base there because it's stained a little bit. The OTT orange mixed with the like the pink one from the pastel collection. I don't know. But I've got my cult beauty box here full with stuff that I have wanted to try for ages. One of the things is a repurchase, another thing is something that I've just seen on the website that I'll try. But everything else is stuff that I've been wanting to buy for ages. And the first product I have is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I got the full size one. I absolutely love this product. I have loved it for so many years. Um, and it's just something that I love to keep in my handbag, keep in my drawers, use every day whether I'm wearing makeup or not. Um, I do love the Project Lip lip plumper as well definitely check them out plus i have done a review on those um i've done it on the demi jones 
collab with them but it's the, kind of like the same products it was just more a uh, review on the, that collab so I'll definitely leave that down below and also in the little eye um, but this one isn't as tingly so I feel like when you're going out for something to eat and stuff like that this one is a little bit more safe because the project lip one once you get it on your tongue it's like someone's just put like a chili on your tongue it's it's so good like it plumps so well but I thought I would pick up another one of these since I had ran out ages ago and I've still been scraping from like the little tube to this day. The next thing I got to try was this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. The part of me is wishing I got it in the full size. I got it in like the small one um, but I'll probably like try it once and then go on and repurchase because it's in the Cult Beauty sale just now. I didn't get it when it was in the sale which is obviously annoying but um, that's just it there and it comes with this little pump I don't know if you can see that there um, and you get 10 mils in this one which I think is quite good I've seen so many amazing reviews on this and this was the product that I had just kind of seen on the website and thought oh I'll try that because I didn't want to just get all makeup that like I've wanted for a long time obviously I wanted to get the makeup I wanted for a long time but I thought kind of just seeing a few little bits that maybe I had like heard of or I just looked good or whatever so that was one of those I think that was honestly the only thing that I um, had picked up that I didn't actually want for ages and at that I've probably seen it before but yeah I'm so excited to try this one as well and the next product I've got is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer so if you guys are new to my channel um, or to be fair I've hardly done any makeup videos so even a returning subscriber I love the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation um, and I've been wanting to try this concealer for ages like even back when everyone was using the shade Custard now <laughs> I was going to get custard like years ago and then I did have a look at it when I went to buy this and I suppose I've kind of just copied again but I was watching Jamie Genevieve's videos and she uses um, ginger and I thought well that's quite a nice like colour and I don't want because when, when you look at the descriptions I don't want something that's like really really yellow because obviously I'm not naturally like obviously I'm um, naturally this is my natural colour um, I'm quite pale and light rather than like just kind of because I've what are my words I've, I've got a habit of just kind of going with the colours that kind of match my tan and not thinking about like my natural tones like I'm thinking about the bloody bottle of fake tans natural tones not my natural tones don't even ask why I put that there I was cleaning out my makeup drawers and I found this medium filter by Molly Mae absolute love love the dark love the extra dark chucking this on tonight I think maybe not sure haven't decided yet but yeah um I just remember that I kind of need to go on in my tones rather than my fake tan tones so I went with this shade. I'm gonna give it a little swatch. I think I might do a full face of first impressions. And there's a few products here that I'm wanting to do solo videos on for you guys. So if that would be something that you would like, then please let me know down below and also give this video a thumbs up. That is the shade of the concealer, which I think is quite nice actually. And I'm quite glad I got this shade. So hopefully, um, it will be okay. So I got two Charlotte Tilbury things. The first thing I got was the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in medium two or two medium. This is just gorgeous. Like I would just pay the money for Charlotte Tilbury's packaging. So that is the shade. As I said, it was medium two and it is just a stunning packaging um, obviously again like this is quite pricey it's something that I wouldn't necessarily always use at, or like get I use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder like every time I do my makeup so I quite like having a wee alternative and I know the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder is expensive as well um, I'm very much aware of that but yeah I just I quite like having little alternatives because I feel like 
if you stick to like the one foundation you feel like you're constantly buying it whereas if you maybe stick to two or three different foundations then you don't feel like you're constantly buying foundation so it's kind of like the same situation with my powders um, I sometimes use like my Rimmel powder and stuff like that especially if I like if I'm not going out and stuff, obviously I don't want to always use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Um, so I'll use maybe like my Rimmel one or my collection one or anything like that. So I do like alternate that way. But I thought I would give this a little go because it is something that I've wanted for a long time and I just thought it was the perfect opportunity to get it. And the other one was this. Now I did not expect this to be this size. Like honestly, I expected it to be the same size as the powder. Um to be quite honest. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronze Bronze Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I don't even know why I'm telling you Charlotte Tilbury because you guys know what it is. A matte bronzing filter for face and body. Um, this is just like a big clam. Like honestly, this packaging is stunning. Obviously you can't like completely see it because it's reflecting in like the lines of my camera but it's just absolutely stunning and this is it here like it's like literally the size of well maybe not my head <laughs> makes my head look really big um yeah i got mine in medium two i'm thinking it will be an okay shade i think it might actually be let's give it a little that's nice and buttery yeah it's definitely really buildable um because I, I, like, I can't really get much of a swatch from it. But yeah, I'm really excited to try it. And again, it's just something that I've wanted. Plus this one is refillable, I think. It's got a little hole in the back. So yeah, refillable, rechargeable. So that's really, really good as well because it means that you can use like the same, let's call it a clam. Um, and just like pop in and out the inside bit like the actual product itself so the next product is from Vive and this is a modern lip definer in bark and yeah I wanted to try Vive for so long like since it came out but I don't know what like stopped me I think it was just the I don't know because I love the, the look of every product and I'm so excited to try it all I'll give this a little swatch for you guys um that is actually really creamy oh my goodness that is so nice um yeah i don't know why i never tried it don't don't know because i knew i wanted and i remember like looking on the website and stuff like that and it, i just don't know why i never picked anything up i don't know if it's again like my thing with buying makeup like obviously makeup is so expensive but as much as it's worth it it's still but I think it's like you could go into print a little thing and get like a t-shirt for £2 or £5 or go into Primark or whatever um, or even Zara or H&M but like makeup and even though makeup like lasts just as long or longer and it's amazing I don't know I don't know why don't even ask um, but that's it there it's just a stunning colour and then I got a lipstick I'm hoping this will go in it go in it go with it it's coming in hoot and I'm hoping That might actually be quite a nice combo, to be honest. I think a few people were saying that the lipsticks were a little bit contradicting, like the actual stick itself looked, say, quite dark. Whereas when they put it on, it kind of looked quite a bit lighter. I think that combo might actually be really nice. It's still focusing, it's like focusing on my forehead. Um, I think if you go quite light-handed with the, um lip liner and then pop on the lipstick and go like smudge the lip liner in and the outer areas yeah you get what i mean you know how it fell on your lips but yeah i think it'd be such a nice combo and i can't wait to try it next up we have a blusher in cherub now i never picked up a highlighter or the skin veil i think that's what it's called don't know why again don't ask i got this as i said in cherub because i wanted the orange one but they never had it in stock so I picked up this one and obviously like you probably look at that and think that looks really scary just go light handed it's not it's not it's not what it is if you get what I mean like you do get some blushers that are completely what it is but 
like it comes out on your finger like what it is but then when you put it on your skin it's, it blends out into such a nice like i don't know if you can really see that because uh, i've kind of got a mixture of everything on my hands anyway um but don't be scared with blushers they're just it's not completely what it is just don't go really heavy handed like don't smack your brush into the pan and chuck it on your face otherwise you will get a clown look you won't from that don't worry guys i got you back so next vape had just brought out their bronzer palette and i had to get it i got mine in medium because obviously as i said a fake tad plus jenny's brought this out in uh um you've got little inserts so it's reusable so it's got the little holes on the back um, and you can just poke a makeup brush or a pencil or whatever and you can pop the little pans out and she's coming out with little refills for them but obviously those aren't just now because i mean who goes through a bronzer in like three days but yeah um <laughs> so it's obviously like your darker one or your lighter one camera cut off thanks canon um yeah so you got like your lighter one and your darker one so you can build up your bronzer or you can use one to more contour and one to bronze it's again just personal preference and what i really like about vive is jamie has designed this brand to be useful and to be used by and to be appreciated and loved by both makeup artists and your average person doing their makeup which is really what i love like the things are so so easy to use but the quality is there for like your makeup artists and everything like that um but also bringing it back your they're just very easy okay so the next thing is the essential palette so this is the palette here it's absolutely gorgeous now prepare yourselves because i do have a little pan missing it's actually on my knee i've had a little um issue with it but i contacted cult beauty straight away and they sorted it out straight away for me um and i'm just gonna glue the little pan back in because it's just it's just the glues came away but this is glimmer before i sit it down before i end up smashing it that's the shade there um, but I just don't want to leave it in the palette and the chance that it falls out and I actually do end up smashing it so there that's the full palette and I feel like again it's the pans are huge it's got a massive mirror as well I don't know where to show it there I'll show it there so you guys aren't getting blinded by like that light um, and the pans are massive which again it's amazing for those like makeup artists and stuff like that but is also very universal for um, like your average makeup user if that's what you want to call people I don't know but yeah I absolutely love the palette and I think because like besides like I totally don't take that little hiccup in um, it's probably just something that happened in transit or whatever but yeah love 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 so now going on to what i got from look fantastic i got the nars pure radiant tinted moisturizer i got this in medium zero mykonos and that won't even focus of course it won't i'll bring it out um it's not as light as it is on the bottle i'm kind of so i'm not squeezing it out because i i done this to try and see what the shade was like I feel like that's honestly you, that that's not good that's not showing anyone the shade caitlin um yeah <laughs> this was a lot cheaper on like fantastic because they had it on sale so i decided to get it over on there and my skin right now i've got a few big big boulders in my face if that's what you want to call them but my skin is going to start getting better why do i know that because I now have time to do proper skincare routines to not miss my skincare routine to have pamper days and face masks and really look after my skin um, now that I'm not like I've got quite a few days freed up now so I really wanted to kind of introduce a tinted moisturiser into my life I wanted to try a tinted moisturiser for a long time but the way that my skin has always been I feel like a tinted moisturiser it just wouldn't do nothing for my skin so 
I really wanted to introduce this in plus um, when I'm showing you guys like summer looks and stuff I feel like wearing a foundation it is quite heavy and I feel like some products don't work well just on bare skin so I wanted to get this also for that and just the plain and simple fact that if I'm wanting to wear makeup during summer or I'm wanting a lighter base or just a lighter makeup look or I'm just wanting some coverage or whatever then I can use this so I'm so excited to try this plus I know I will absolutely love it um, because I love Menards foundation so if it's like if it's the same quality as the foundation then I know I love this and the last product I got was the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base now this is a product I've wanted for so long like so long and that is it here so I got the 50ml which is a gigantic tub so I can only imagine how long this is going to last another text message wow um, I'm popular today I didn't think I'd actually left my phone on so it's guys, um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm so, I think I said this bit after everything, but I'm so excited to try this product. Again, it's something that I've had in my basket, like, I've had it in my Look Fantastic basket for months, if not like a year and a bit, and it's something that, yeah, I just wanted to try and then like, I hear everyone using it and I keep going back on looking at it and not getting it and stuff like that so I decided to get it, decided to treat myself and I hope that it works as well on me as it does on other people. So that is the end of today's video, I hope you guys did enjoy, don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye!